What is up everyone? Welcome to today's reaction video and welcome to the start of October for all of my American and my European friends. Uh, welcome to the start of spooky season and the start in America of anti-bullying month. Uh, so in terms of the reactions on the channel, you guys are going to see a lot of things related to one of the two of those, especially towards the later part of the month with a lot of Halloween videos uh, and towards the start of the month with a lot of mental health, anti-bullying, and just general positivity reactions. Uh, that's what that that's the vibe I'm going for. <laughs> Whether or not there, there will definitely be some peppered through that are just normal reactions. But either way, we are starting off strong with uh, the very special monthly request of my incredible Patreon follower, Helen. Helen, thank you so, so much for continuing your support. And thank you for this request. Uh, I can't wait to check this out because I have heard there's been a lot of people mention Violet Orlandi to me. I think her name's pronounced Orlandi. I've seen it written a million times, but I haven't had a chance to say it out loud. So Violet Orlandi is what I'm going with. Uh, and yeah, a lot of people have mentioned her to me with different songs of hers. Uh, I can't wait to check out what she sounds like and where all the buzz is coming from. And I, you guys already know that I love this song. This is Creep's song, uh, sorry, Radiohead's song, Creep. Uh, I have done a couple of reactions to a couple of different versions of this now and they're always incredible. I'm pretty sure I did Straight No Chaser and I've done a voice play one. So I can't wait to see what uh, she is going to do with this. It looks like a relaxed acoustic thing, which would just be amazing. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm very, very excited to get into this one. As always, please go down to the link in the description, give the original video a like, a comment, subscribe to Violet if you haven't already. And we're going to get into this reaction. This is Vi Violet Orlandi's version of Radiohead's Creep. When you were here before I couldn't look you in the eye Okay, hello haunting vocals Um, that, that is I don't think I've ever heard this song sung by a female voice before That is traumatising In a gorgeous, gorgeous way and the way that it went from her sitting at the guitar when she was playing to on the last strum of the note, it came up creep on the screen. And I was like, oh, that's clever the way that she did that. But I didn't expect it to. I thought it would go back to the guitar. I didn't expect it to come into this close up on her face. And it made the words hit. Uh... When you were here before. She has an incredible thing with her voice where you are literally sitting there holding your breath for the next note, for the next word. I feel like I'm like unable to breathe until she says the next word. And that is stunning. It is so like beautiful and ethereal yet emotional. And it's just, oh my God. You flow like a feather in a beautiful On that first special there, she did something different to what I've heard before, and it was gorgeous. Special. Then go back right now. Here we go. I wish I was special. You're so very special But I'm a creep I'm a widow I need 
go back to the, I, I am rewinding this one so much, you guys. Uh, the way that she did that long hold on creep was just like, oh my God. Um, but I'm voice is just having me sit here like feeling the emotions like I, I feel like I want a warm blanket and a teddy bear just to be protected uh because I'm I'm feel oh my gosh there's something about I never realized a feminine voice on this track would be so strong and so emotional and it's it's a lot uh it's she has the most stunning voice and she's just kept it so simple so quiet and so reserved that it is flawless. Uh, you guys may be wondering why I said that I thought this was a great start to anti-bullying week. It doesn't necessarily seem like a song that tackles bullying exactly, but I am always of the opinion that some of the worst bullying we do as people is to ourselves. The things that you say about yourself in your head, you wouldn't say to your worst enemy nine times out of ten. Because... Like we, we are just for some reason willing to bully ourselves so badly in our own brains and say things that we would just never even think about others. And it comes down to like, if you have a day catching up on sleep, suddenly you're a lazy slob that doesn't get out of bed. No, you're just someone who hasn't slept enough. And you know that saying that to anyone else in that situation. But if you do it to yourself, then you're going to treat you, you, you say those things about yourself in your head. So for me, anti-bullying month it's not just about the way that you're treating other people it's about the way you're treating yourself and i feel like the lyrics of this song capture that gorgeously and the way it's being performed is incredible uh because calling yourself so willingly in a chorus calling yourself a creep commenting on you want a perfect body because you're not happy with your body you everything about this song is just this internalized disliking and I, it, yeah, it's just highlights for me that like, we need to be kinder, not only to other people, but to ourselves. But yeah, that's my little rant over about why I thought like, why, why this song for me stood out uh, when it was requested. I was like, yeah, that works for anti-bullying month perfectly. Um, even though it's not about talking about other people, it's more about your own mental health, but it just works for me. Uh, let's get going. I want a perfect soul. I want you to notice when I'm not around. You're so very special. I wish I was special. That slide up was stunning. The way that she did the, the special there was gorgeous. I also have to say with this whole film clip, the whole way it's sung, the thing I'm loving about it is that you see some performances of certain songs and you're like, oh my God, that person is acting their ass off. They are performing this. They are going ham. They're playing an, a character and they're doing it so well. Looking at her, I'm not going, she's playing a character. I'm not going, she's acting so well. I just feel like she's sitting in front of a camera and exposing her soul and just connecting with the lyrics of the song. And that is such a special thing to do. And yeah, it, it just, it just goes to show that she's willing to show that kind of vulnerability because I don't, I don't think that this was a thing of she was like, I have to sit in front of the camera and look sad when I sing this, that doesn't come across at all. 
this just looks like someone who understands these lyrics and has been through what the song is talking about. And it comes through as a big difference between those two things. I want to hear that slide up again because that was just stunning. was so waiting to see how she would build that section because when it came in with the first bit of she's running and I was like oh she's done something different here first of all I've got to rewind further than that actually guys when the music came in ma'am she stepped it up I was ready for this whole thing to be a slow acoustic version and then suddenly the instruments there and I'm like all right let's go but then uh yeah she did such a change up to what I'm used to on this that that section there and I was like oh is she actually going to build it like they do in the Radiohead version where it ends on the big run note? And I wasn't sure that she was, and I'm so glad she did because that was stunning. Let's go again. Ooh, well, let's go again. I'd love to know what's being said in the background there as well because something I, I can't work out what it is that's being sung or vocalized there. Is, is it English? I think it's English, but... I, I can't work out what's being said, but it sounds so cool. It's such a cool thing to put in there. I like that she's changed up because I keep going to do what they do in the Radiohead version of the long she, um, but she's put it as an O oh, and then she. It's, it's it's just cool to see how she's changed up the song a little bit to make it her own. I paused and spoke too soon before. I said she went into the big note and I forgot there was a second one. She killed that. What? So very special. I wish I was special, but I'm a creep. I'm a I don't know that I've ever believed a version of that song more in my life, especially that last section, that last little bit where she, everything went so quiet and it was so raw and vulnerable was just 
oh my God, you feel your heart breaking. And Lord in heaven above, please tell me that it is, that is a version of her doing a My Immortal by Evanescence. Ooh, that's a big song. I might need to hear that very soon because holy damn, I can't imagine anyone but Amy Lee singing that song. That is a big, big song. Uh, but with the way that she did this, with the way that she was honest and true to the original while also managing to make it her own and having so much emotion in there, but emotion that felt real, it didn't feel fabricated. That is such incredible artistry and so gorgeous to see. I am so, so glad that I've gotten the chance to experience her for the first time. Violet is incredible. Uh, I can't wait to see more of her stuff. She is in amazing. Like, yeah. Uh, guys, as always, please go to the description, give the original video a like, give it a comment, subscribe to Violet if you aren't already. Uh, come back here and give me a like and a comment because it helps out the channel so much. Uh, also, uh, subscribe. Oh, I said subscribe already. I'm all over the place. Yes, please jump over to my Patreon. Uh, for as little as $1, you can get access to our weekly polls as well as the Discord where we have incredible and amazing people. Uh, with the weekly polls towards the end of the month, we will be doing Halloween exclusive polls. I'm also doing uh, two TV show reactions every week, which is currently we're working our way through Arcane and Invincible, and they have been such incredible shows. They are so much fun. Uh, I'm doing two monthly reactions this month, one to a full horror movie for Halloween and another which is going to be a more family-friendly Halloween movie. So I've got polls currently over on the Discord, oh, on the Patreon, sorry, for that. So you can vote on those if you're on the, the movie reaction tier and we will get to those reactions later in the month. I can't wait for them. Uh, sign up for the monthly live streams, which we have an absolute blast. We just did ours recently and it was just the most fantastic time. I had the best time on it. Uh, and yeah, check me out over on Patreon, basically. Um, I hope you guys have a great day, night, morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time zone you're in. Remember to show each other love because it's anti-bullying week, anti-bullying month, not week. Uh, yeah, so show each other just a little bit more love and I will see you in the next reaction video. Bye.